the boy with the thorn one, you know, you, you, don't, you don't necessarily have to change his demeanor for him to excel on the field in a better way, in the sense that, you know, some players are calmer, some players are more aggressive. So you could use that calmness and but also work on other things. So one thing I've been telling a lot of parents is like, if you just start juggling with your kids, like, I get it, some people are maybe disabled, some people have, maybe they just can't, they don't have, um, they physically cannot, they don't have the ability, so they're maybe unathletic parents, so they, they don't, they're not capable of juggling with their kids, that I understand, but if you are capable of juggling a balloon or a hacky sack, I think that's one of the most fun ways to help your kid develop on and off the field. And you could do it for a lifetime if he's 12 years old. Like, you got 10, you know, maybe 8 to 10 plus years of, you know, driving him around. Just juggling is going to help him and get him more involved. Because the more that you juggle with him in a fun way, it's going to elevate his ability to not only not be afraid of making mistakes, but it's going to allow him to not not even think about it, you know, because if you're just going back and forth, touch, pop, 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 you know, two touch, two touch, one touch, one touch, back and forth, thighs, you know, laces, inside, just having fun with it. Laces only, thighs only, right thigh only, let you know, head only, he chest, head, chest, head. It's just like, you can have a lot of, um, so much joy. And I tell the story how my dad, he played D1 hockey. He, we drove all over the freaking world, or we tra traveled all over the world playing soccer. And he just never thought it was a priority for him to learn how to juggle, and yet we, could, we had so much time where we could have just been getting a lot of touches and have a lot of fun together. So I think that's a, that's a great way that you could help him get more involved. Um, if, if you think it's some type of confidence thing, um, maybe there's maybe there's a Muay Thai gym around you, maybe there's a kickboxing gym, or, or a, um, or, or a um, kickboxing Muay Thai, Pilates, right, just encouraging him, karate, anything that's going to help him that has a track record for developing, um, you know, developing students, especially, you know, young, young kids, you want a place that's been around for a while, who has a teacher who's genuinely committed to the art of whatever they're practicing, um, I had to drive to Ohio just to train with this, one of the best strength coaches of all time, who, who passed away two years ago, but that was like a 16-hour trip, right, that's, that's not down the road, but the whole point is like, you gotta kind of encourage, you, you know, he can't drive himself, at least not yet, to, to a, to a, maybe a skills, a skills and drills coach, maybe there's a skills and drills coach in your area, uh, if you're in New Jersey, south, uh, uh, south, south, the southern side of New Jersey, maybe slightly central, um, Tom Turnbull. Tom Turnbull is a great skills coach if you're ever in New Jersey. Um, you could, for yourself, if you buy a, a, a solo kick trainer, an SKLZ solo kick trainer off Amazon, and just use use it. Don't give it to him, but you got to use it while he can see you, because if he sees you do it, then it's going to help. Then he can, it's monkey see, monkey do, right? If you give him a, a kick trainer, and he doesn't know what to do with it, it's just gonna sit on the ground next to all the other stuff he doesn't use. But if you use it and he looks up to you, he'll start getting touches with it because it's a fun, it's a fun soccer training tool. I think it's one of the best skills development tools available because it's great for beginners and high level players because you could just cram months of training into days or weeks. So I would say that's a second, the second suggestion, or maybe I guess we're up to three. Um, yeah, kick trainer, kick trainer, juggling with him, and I wouldn't reach, and um, I, I wouldn't, someone commented, talk, talk to the coach, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that route, because, you know, the coach is just trying to, you know, keep, keep the pieces together, let alone give your son a personal, personalized, you know, cater to, to his, his needs, and I mean, maybe a good rapport with the coach, but I, I just wouldn't go that route, um, If he's a reader, there's a book called Awareness by Anthony DeMello. I'm not sure if he's ready for that, but I talk about the, the difference between confidence versus awareness. And I think, you know, he's going to mimic your behavior and the things you do and the things you say. So, um, especially if they're congruent, right? So you got to lead by example. You know, you got to, if, 
you know, if, you, if the way you, you know, tr treat him and give him more responsibility, I think maybe he'll start to grow into, um, grow into his own, his own confidence if it's been taking a beating. Um, oddly enough, I found comedy. I remember I was very feeling very confident. I was very good at soccer, but around that age, I was one of the best in the state at that age, and yet off the field, I was, I was, what's the word? I was actually more confident on the field than I was off the field. But watching comedy, I began to become, I, I became more, um, I guess, at peace with myself. But, um, so funny movies, you know, the power of laughter. It's, uh, you know, very powerful. So it's maybe just lifting up the spirits. Maybe just going to, going to see a movie or something. Just spending some, some quality time, some time with your, with your uh, kids. Lessons of any sport. You know, or of any sort. You're like, just go, you know, just getting. I, I took a yoga class with this guy who's top 10 instructor in, in New York City, Sri Dharma Mitra. Completely changed my life, right? So, the more teachers, the more teachers you can seek out and just have fun. I mean, it costs 25 bucks. I'd probably pay 100 bucks for the same lesson for an hour. So, um, the better different types of teachers you have, then you could, the better learner you become, the better learner you become then the better you can teach, it's kind of like a circle. So uh, that was, that's my rant, hopefully it helps, and uh, reach out with any questions, all right, thank you.